Diagram six. Diagram seven. Oh. <laughs> Diagram eight. Hello. Sorry. Um. Right. Uh, <laughs> you may wonder what am I doing? Well, I'm sitting here with my my Hefner bass, and uh, actually, I'm going to learn some bass playing or some um, to play the electric bass because uh, I've got this record here, and I had no other idea that these kind of records existed. It's called Play Electric Bass with the Ventures. It's on uh, the Dalton label. And uh, this album includes a 16-page illustrated booklet with easy-to-follow diagrams, suitable for all guitars. And uh, what is it? Well, it looks like this. First they tell you about the important parts of the electric bass and how you sit or stand, how you, how you hold the bass, um, uh, how you tune the electric bass. The first track is uh, uh, actually a track that uh, helps you to tune your electric bass by playing the bass notes so you can tune your bass after it very handy and it's how to uh, play it with a guitar pick or bass pick and then we have the diagram explanation uh, the diatonic scale um, and then some different patterns that you can practice playing on in different uh, in different keys you have E D, C, then we have La Bamba, that they first show how to play by showing these different patterns that are numbered and then of course it's up to you to play after those. And uh, in the end the whole song is being played and a part of the recording uh, by the Ventures and a part of the recording the bass playing is left out so it's up to you to fill in and well, you have to be really quick to be able to play this and of course you have to practice. I haven't practicing yet. I've just been trying to follow on, follow this thing. Then we, then we have Red River Valley and then we have some new patterns. We have a Lover's Concerto and I Hear a Symphony and Papa's got a brand new bag and a tune called Shotgun. This was recorded in 1966 and uh, it is a part of a series uh, called Guitar Phonics and uh, the other ones are about how to play guitar with the Avengers. It's the fourth uh, volume that's about bass playing. Um, and a uh, really interesting way to learn. And I think it's a very good way to learn. And I have to say these uh, explanations of these bass patterns are, it's, they are very easy to understand and to just practice them on your own after, even without listening to the album. So. Um, <laughs> One interesting thing about this album is that it's it is of course uh, divided into different uh, bands as any normal LP would, but uh, there's no track leading from one band to another one. So when you finished one band, it's like uh, um, a locked groove that the needle runs into. So uh, if you want to listen to the next band, you have to lift uh, up the needle up and well push it forward a bit and then put it down again so uh, and that's very rare I, I don't think I've seen that on, on on an album before but of course it's a very good idea if you want to instead of going into the next track just repeat the track once again so why not why not indeed so if you'll excuse me I will try to learn how to play the a large concerto now <clears throat> there are nine diagrams to the bass pattern in Lover's Concerto. Let's try them slowly while I call them out to you. Yes, please. Diagram one. Diagram two. 